The Enhance tool is a very useful tool in Lightroom that helps you increase the resolution of your photo or simply reduce ISO grain. But Adobe have recently added a pretty big update to this tool. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you everything there is to know about the new Enhance tool in Lightroom Classic. And I'm going to start right now. So before we start, make sure that your Lightroom Classic is up to date first. I'm going to be using Lightroom Classic version 14.4 for this tutorial. This contains all of the new features with the Enhance tool, as well as a few other features added to Lightroom. If you don't update or you've just got an older version, none of the features we're going to be talking about are going to be available. So always make sure you update your Lightroom Classic first. Now, firstly, the Enhance tool has actually moved with inside Lightroom, making it a lot more useful and easier to find. Now, traditionally, if you're in the develop panel and just editing your photo, to find it, you'd have to right click and go to where you can see it says Enhance. But actually, it's now moved. If you go into your develop panel, then head over to your details, you will be able to find it just above your sharpening and manual noise reduction. Now, like traditionally, you've got your denoise, you've got your raw details and super resolution, but it's all found here. But not only has it moved, it also is now non-destructive. Traditionally, if you wanted to use the Enhance tool after you've done all your editing, what it would do is it will create a separate DNG, so a separate RAW file from your original RAW file, meaning all of the settings that you've made are now baked into that RAW file. There's no way of going back, undoing any of the work, which means it would be the very last thing that you do. But if you did want to go back and make any changes, you then have to revert back, actually deleting that DNG it's just made and then doing the process all over again. But now it's non-destructive, meaning it doesn't create a separate DNG. What it does now is it actually does all of the work in your main RAW file, making it so much more useful to professional photographers. So what I've done is I've done a few changes to this photo. All I'm gonna do is go ahead and click Super Resolution. And I've actually found it's a little bit quicker as well is it's also having less artifacts appearing in the super resolution. So now if I go ahead and zoom in, we can see we're getting so much clearer photos. I'm only zoomed in at 100%, we can really see the details in this photo. It is so much better. So yeah, I would highly recommend updating Lightroom just for this feature. It makes it so much more useful. Firstly, it's now non-destructive. Secondly, it's moved into an easier position. And third, I would say it's a lot better, making it a lot more useful to professional photographers. Here is the before, and here is the after, after the super resolution. And look at the detail it can achieve. And if this particular tutorial helped you out, make sure to write it down in the comments below.